we have seen how important stress, stress, stress testing is. Uh, stress testing is to be done. Every, every regulator advises the banks to go for stress testing. That is the reason after subprime crisis, Fed advised all the banks to go for stress testing. There's a beautiful Gaithner report on that based on that all US banks did stress testing. And also after Greece crisis also, uh, a European Central Bank advised the banks to go for stress test. To my knowledge, already banks have gone for three doses of stress testing. Now they want to know, the, the regulator wants to know under the stress how far a bank can withstand. So this is what withstand means whether they have got sufficient capital. If uh, the capital is not there, how much capital support they can give. All these things are found out using stress test. So stress testing is an important risk management tool that is used by banks as part of their internal risk management and through Basel to capital adequacy framework required by the regulators. The stress test is part of uh, pillar 2 that is supervised review process. So uh, every bank is supposed to do the supervised review process. The ICAP should contain a stress testing policy and the stress testing is to be carried on periodically. Stress testing alerts the bank's top management to adverse unexpected outcomes related to a variety of risks and provides an indication of how much capital might be needed to absorb the losses should, should the unexpected large shock uh, occurs. Because finally any bank failure, it affects the country, it affects the regulator and it affects the system, it affects the real economy. So the regulator, the supervisor should know if such and such stress comes, how far this bank can uh, 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 live or how point it can cope up or if it gives away what is the capital support the regulator has to give. All these things are found out through using this stress test. Having recognized the importance of stress, stress, stress testing in risk management, the BCBS, Basel Committee on Banking Supervision, came out its paper on 6 January 2009. It's a particular dedicated paper. It's called the Principles for Sound Stress Testing Practices and Supervision, which states as how the banks have to implement the stress testing practices. They have stipulated how it is to be done. These principles cover the overall objectives, governance, design and implementation of stress testing program as well as issues related to stress testing of individual risk and products. As I told, the stress testing is to be done on liquidity risk. That's what you see in normal scenario, bank specific scenario, market specific scenario. Like that, a stress testing is to be done for interest rate risk also. We have seen if the interest rate moves by 200 basis point, what happens to the capital of the bank? If it moves by 300 basis point, what happens to this? All these things are scenario analysis or simulation exercise. No willing, the past chairman of BCBS has given so much of importance to stress testing and he has said that stress testing is an important risk management tool. It plays a critical role in strengthening not only the bank corporate governance but also the resilience of the individual banks. They come to know how far they can withstand and the financial system. The recent financial crisis has demonstrated all these things are given so much of importance. Stress testing, risk management, particularly after global subprime crisis. The recent financial crisis has demonstrated the importance of stress testing as an integral part of any bank's risk management. That's why it is included under supervised review process as the ICAP of any bank should include stress testing policy also. The recent financial crisis has demonstrated the importance of stress, stress testing as an integral part of a, any bank's risk management, liquidity and capital planning process. Now let us see how that stress test should be done. A stress test is commonly described as the evaluation of bank's financial position under severe but plausible scenario. You should not keep 100% negative. It should be workable uh, complex scenarios scenarios to assist decision making within the bank. As per the guidelines, the stress testing has to play the important following roles. What are the roles? Providing forward looking assessment of risk, overcoming limitations of models and historical data, supporting internal and external communication, feeding into capital liquidity planning procedures, Enabling the bank for setting up risk tolerance limits. This is what we have seen under liquidity risk, risk tolerance limits are to be set. Facilitating the development of risk mitigation. Yes, risk happens. How I will wriggle out? What are the mitigation? What are the edging? That is to be seen. Facilitating the development of risk mitigation or contingency plan. We have also seen under liquidity risk. 
to meet the stress situation in case they occur. So with this, the interest rate risk management comes to an end.